I think all of us have heard the saying, like father, like son. You're just like your father or you're just like your mother. Mm -hmm. Is there really a chance that what's in a father or a mother in a negative way yeah. can pass on generation after generation? And if it can, is there an answer? Yes. Stay with us. Today, Tiz and I are going to show you through the Word of God and the blood of Jesus how to break those generational curses. Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. And this week and for next, the next several weeks, yes. we're going to talk about things that are very dear to our heart mm. because they're not just something we know. They're yeah. something we've experienced, and, and it's changed our lives. It yes, continues it yep. to change our life. And we're going to talk about breaking family curses, breaking mm. generational curses. Yep. And, you know, when we talk about that, I think a, a, a lot of people like we were, didn't want to talk about that, well, I'm a Christian, yeah. I'm born again, right. uh, and yet we have these problems yeah. that keep occurring in our lives or our families or our marriages or our children, and the Bible is very specific about yes. talking about yes family curses, generational curses. And not only does it talk about it, and we're going to show you in this program how to break those curses, yes. how to immediately get set free. But yep. in leading up to that, you know, and I say this whenever I go and teach, and, and, and I teach this around the world, mm -hmm. is that if all Jesus did yeah. was forgive me of my sin, no forgive kidding. us of our sin, mm. we couldn't thank him enough, we couldn't love him enough, we couldn't serve him enough, yeah. but listen to me, Jesus did more mm. than forgive you of your sin. Now listen to me, and, and, and I want you to understand this. If that's all Jesus did was pay the price for my sin, yes. for your sin, so that we could make heaven our home, I understand this life is but a vapor of smoke, but I also understand that he didn't just die to get you and yeah. I to heaven That's right. because this life is just a vapor That's of right. smoke, but he said, I've come to give you life yes. and I've come to give yes. that life more mm. abundant. And, and we could be forgiven, right. we could be born again, but because we don't know the truth, yeah. the truth we understand is, that sets us free. Yes. We're born again. We're serving God. Yeah. We're, we love the Lord, but these curses mm. are still in our lives yeah. because first off, we've never been taught about right. breaking family curses. Right. And we, we sometimes think that as soon as we get saved, those curses are broken, yeah. but we have, just like we found out, we have right. to know the truth. And once we know that truth, then that truth can set us free. Yes, and you know, this is why it's so dear to our heart, Larry, because for so many years, we lived under a curse and we didn't know how Several to break curses. it. We were born again. We loved the Lord. We were set free from so many things. We were married, had children in the ministry. In the ministry and yet we were still functioning under a curse. And it was only out of desperation when the Lord showed you exactly. that there are curses that can operate in Christians' lives. And I think it's so important that I want people to understand before we go any further is, and you always say this, but God is not pointing a finger of, of condemnation at combination. us. Absolutely. He's reaching out a hand to help us. And that's our heart today is that we've been there and we know how to break curses. And that's why we're doing these programs. You know, and, and that's so important to people understand because uh, you know, one of the scriptures that that God gave us in in teaching this and writing books right. on it is the, the the scripture says, confess your faults yeah. one to another so that you could yeah. be made whole in every way. Yeah. And I'm going to be real honest with folks. It's sometimes it's hard for us 
Yeah. If we're born again, if we're Christians, if we're children of God, to confess our faults. Yeah. Because so many times religion says that the moment you get saved, yeah. you're to be absolutely perfect. Yeah. And, and that doesn't happen. Right. I, I wish it did as yeah. a pastor, as a Christian, as a teacher, that the moment we get saved, everything goes away. Yeah. But it's the truth that we understand right. that sets us free. And yeah. so that teaching, now listen to this, that teaching that says, confess your faults one to another. Right. And we would never do this. Tiz and I loved each other when we first got saved. We right. got married in church, met in church, yep. went in the ministry. But, but there was in, in my life, a generational curse of anger, of violence. Yeah. And we never would go and talk to never. somebody about it mm -mm. because number one, we thought, well, the moment we get saved, those are things yeah. that would be taken care of. What's and wrong with us? What's wrong with us? Yeah. And they would be taken care of if we understand the truth that we're about to share with you. Yeah. But we wouldn't go because of, uh, we didn't want to confess those yeah. faults. Yeah. I can remember when we were getting ready to do uh, a television program in California. Oh, yeah, To yeah. teach on breaking family curses, right. breaking generational curses. And I was in the, we were in the hotel and getting ready to go to the studio. And on the mirror was a warning list of what to do in case of an earthquake. Remember yes, that? Yes. And the reason was, is you look out the window and yeah. you see the highway and we saw, I think, Disneyland or whatever we saw mm -hmm. out there and everything looks peaceful. Yeah. But underneath yeah. the surface, lied fault lines. Yes. And when the pressure was right or the situation was right, yeah. those fault mm. lines that were lying below the surface yeah. would cause an explosion and destruction yeah. Yeah. on the surface. Great. And when I saw that, I realized this is what God is saying. He says he doesn't want you, and Tiz, you bring this up all the time, he doesn't want us to feel condemned. This yes. is not about feeling, oh, no. I'm just a horrible person. Absolutely. This is about understanding what Jesus Christ did yeah. in dying for us, in dying on the cross, yeah. and shedding his blood seven yes. different times yeah. to not only get us to heaven, yes. but to get us that life and that life more yes. abundant. Yes. And it, it wasn't until we got into the, I got into that situation. We were actually pastoring in Australia yeah. and, and uh, that, that fault that lied beneath the surface in, yeah. in my life of anger mm -hmm. came up. Yeah. I'd pushed Luke, who's our son now, who's one of my uh, executive pastors here in, in Dallas yeah. now. And I, when I pushed him, I said these words. I'm just like my dad. Mm. Now, I don't say that to belittle my dad no, or anything, but not. here I am, I'm born again. Yeah. Here I am, I'm a pastor, I'm a child of God, I'm a Christian, and this thing keeps rising up. And I said these words without even thinking about it, I'm just like my dad. Mm. And immediately I thought, like father, like yeah. son. And so I went to the scripture. I said, is there something yeah. in the Bible yeah. that says what's in a father or what's in a mother? Right. And, and you can read our book and sometimes it skips a generation. Yeah. A grandfather, a grandmother, what's in that family yeah. can be passed from generation to generation. Yes. And I found out that not only is it in the Bible, it's in there over 325 times. Wow. Now listen to me. Wow. This is why Jesus didn't just die. We're going to talk about this more when we come back. Jesus didn't just die to get us to heaven. Yeah. If all he was going to do was die yes. to pay the price for right. our sin, he could have died when they arrested him. He could have died yeah. when they beat him. He could have died when mm -hmm. he drugged that cross to Calvary. Yeah. But he had to get to Calvary because the Bible says, cursed is he right, right. who hangs on a tree. Oh. And so when we come back, we're going to mm. talk about Jesus, not just taking our yes. sin, but taking the curse yeah. of our sin, yeah. the iniquity of our yes. sin so that you can walk in freedom. Mm. But listen to me very carefully. Right when the time that God was stirring us about the Jewish roots, at the same time, I got, by, I got prophecy from Benny Hinn, yeah. from Dodie Osteen, mm -hmm. from Larry Stockstill and others yeah. that the anointing of Derek Prince yeah. was, gonna, was on my life and that God was anointing mm. me 
to go into the world to yes. teach how to break family curses. Yeah. I have to admit, I didn't even know who Derek Prince was. Mm -mm. I'd heard his name, but I didn't know anything about his teaching. Yeah. And uh, we'll tell you the story maybe this week or next week in more in detail. But every one of these great men and women of God said, you've got to get Derek Prince to lay hands on you. That's right. We track Derek down and of all places, he's living in Jerusalem. Hmm. Right at the time when God is stirring us about the Jewish roots and God's stirring prophetic people yep. that were to go in the world and teach on breaking yeah. family curses. Yep. And so long story short, and we'll tell you more about it later. I went to Jerusalem. I was the last person that Derek Prince laid hands on. Mm. He was very, very ill. Yeah. He's about to go to heaven. And Derek mm. Prince laid hands on me. We've got it recorded. Maybe mm. someday we'll show it, but we've got a picture. Derek Prince is laying hands on me. Yeah. And part of the prophecy is that God would use me mm. as an arrow shot from the bow of God's hand yes. into the world mm. to set his children free. <sighs> that I, we would be, what God has shown us, we would yeah. be the arrow shot from the bow mm. in God's hand. And Derek said, to destroy the enemy yeah. that's been destroying the blessing on my people. Mm. I want you to stay with us because God is, man, I feel the Holy mm. Spirit. God today yes. is going to shoot our teaching into your heart Amen. and your life. Yes, and as your you family. Help, and your family. As you help us be that arrow, yeah. don't you know you're going to reap what you sow mm. and God's going to break yeah. those generational curses yes. off of you, your family, your marriage, your children. Yeah. This is your day for a new beginning. We'll be right back.